It's Friday. The Friday in a week the Dow Jones lost 22 percent. Major banks bailed out by the federal government. At the Co-op Day celebration, business ethics is the order of the day. First up, Vern Dosh, CEO of National Information Solutions Cooperative. When you think about what's going on in our economy today, it's frightening. But you look at, you drive down Main Street in any small town USA, and it's the Rural Electric Cooperative, it's the Farm Cooperative, it's the Rural Telephone Cooperative, it's the credit union that are pillars of the community that have, have survived all the volatility, they're always left standing. Dosh says the co-op principles stand tall. That as cooperatives, we have an opportunity to be a beacon of light when it comes to business ethics and transparency and doing the right thing always. We can show the world that you can be ethical and still be successful. A panel of co-op leaders discussed how the co-op principles make that possible. I can honestly say it's one of the best things I've ever done. I used to work for several large telecommunications organizations. And, uh, you know, when you had the CEO fly in the corporate jet to college football games because that's where he wanted to go. It's that kind of stuff that really kind of sours you a little bit on, on large corporations. You can take uh, Dakota Valley or Northern Plains annual report, uh, Central Power's annual report, Basin Electric's annual report, and basically trace the electrons and the dollars all the way up and down the, the, the stream. These leaders admit they could do more to toot their own co-op horns. It certainly makes a lot of difference in North Dakota when people understand and see that you really care. Mm -hmm. You really care that the town is surviving are thriving, and you're willing to put uh, a, or back up what you say with funding and financing and, and money back into the community. Yeah. I've had people come in, they need $200 to get down to doctor's appointments to stay and come back. Hmm. Um, you probably couldn't walk into a bank and have anybody do you a $200 loan for two weeks. It wouldn't happen. Um, a payday lender probably would, but hmm. goodness knows what they'd pay mm -hmm. on that. So right. we need to be a better overall getting the word out that Yes, we are different. As far as policies on ethics, they're on paper, but they're also in practice. Ken, do you feel like you're ahead of the curve on policies, or are you more in a reactionary mode as you think about the way you operate your egg cooperative? I think we're ahead of the curve on the policies. You can go back and, again, what other business other than a cooperative basically lays all of your financial picture out on the table in front of not only your members, but the general public every year. We're showing them where the dollars are coming from, what they're being used for, what the profitability is, and we're giving it back to them. I read someplace that Enron had a 64-page ethical code, hmm. and you see how much that did for them. And I would love to be able to take, my entire, take the entire organization and get down to one policy of do your best mm -hmm. and do what's right. Mm -hmm. All right, two policies. <laughs> do your best. <laughs> That ends this discussion on ethics with hopes the conversation continues. Because we are, we're stewards of these organizations. This isn't Ron's power company or Vern's software company. We are stewards of these organizations that were built long before we came.